Ladies and gentlemen, the stock market is collapsing. Guys, I know you are wondering what's going on and make sure to stay tuned because in the next couple of minutes, I will take you on a journey to show you what is going on, guys, okay? And uh, yeah, and I would love to see you also uh, smashing the follow button on all my other social media and uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Here's the logo. Um, make sure to, guys, to stay tuned because we are just entering a very, very interesting phase on the stock market. And if you don't know what's going on, this is obviously a kind of a disadvantage to you. So make sure to stay tuned and I would like to start directly with, um, of course, our people here. We have uh, people here from, um, where are they from? Brooklyn, New York City, Toronto, Las Vegas, San Francisco, Germany, Long Island, New York. So all international from Europe, from North America. And I want to make sure, guys, that uh, you put your questions into the live stream so we can get to them uh, as step by step. Okay, so first of all, obviously, I want to go with you into the market to see what is going on and what our favorite stocks are doing. And uh, here we go. Uh, <laughs> the S&P 500 minus 2% and going down further even to session lows, I guess. Uh, Dow Jones as well, 1.6%. Then uh, Nasdaq 3%, obviously because the big techs are just uh, draw you know taking the whole index down then we having you know the Russell 2000 also negative the crude oil is negative you know everything what can be negative can be negative our lovely space is down almost five percent Facebook almost eight percent and Apple six uh, percent Twitter 20 21 percent Twitter 21 percent okay this is uncomprehensive uh, for me. Then uh, Microsoft, uh, Starbucks, both negative, right? Um, Amazon, almost 6%. Neo, 5%. Tesla, almost 6%. Yeah, it's it's bad, guys, okay? It's really, really bad, guys. And now the right question is obviously... Um, what should I do? Should I sell my house and put everything into it, into the stock market, buy the dip? Men... Uh, don't ask me this all in questions because it's never all in into the stock market, first of all. Second of all, it will pass, okay? So that's the beauty about uh, the stock market. All the crisis just passed and uh, we are higher in the end of the day if you're thinking long term is the end of the day. But let's let's dive into what uh, brought those markets down to its knees. Before we diving into that, make sure to smash the like button. This is highly appreciative. And obviously, uh, let's have a look here first into Facebook, Apple, Twitter, Amazon, Alphabet, all of them, all of them just uh, fall um, or fell uh, sharply in Friday trading, right? I mean, it was crazy. The only company that pretty doing really, really, you know, um, good is Alphabet, Google, right? I mean, they uh, did very, very well, even though the numbers for Facebook, Apple, Twitter, um, Amazon was not like disastrous, okay? It was not like a catastrophe, but still, obviously, people are selling into this Friday. Plus, it's Friday, guys. Plus, we have more and more cases, yeah, guys. So, I think it's also important to see the uh, technical factors, and if you're looking into the S&P 500 chart, you can see, actually, that we crossed just a couple of days the uh, 50 moving average as well um, yeah the 50 moving average experts saying that we can go even to the um, 200 moving average which would be somewhere around uh, 3,129 this is what GP Morgan is saying um, but there, there could be also front runners that picking up now here and going back up okay so both passes um, are valid okay so i'm quite uh, exciting to see what's going on um you know obviously those uh, red days are always a great opportunity to buy great businesses that are doing great that are not so affected by this economy and this is actually where i want to guide you to the next uh, one um this is a chart guys it's showing you oh just before before we diving into that make sure also to understand there's also the bad news of mcconnell expect uh, the road 
Corona stimulus coming just in 2021, right? And while Pelosi and Trump uh, push for a deal sooner. So obviously all of that ba bad news came just all in one. So uh, yeah, it's it's the perfect, uh, <laughs> perfect day to be set on the markets. But however, let's have a look into the sectors and why I thinking, you know, you should think long term and there's a big difference of market crashing and markets, um, you know, going up. So let's have a look. So the black one is obviously the S&P 500. As you can see in March, we went down quite significantly and then we went a little bit more back up. Like I would say it was like a L uh, recovery of the stock market of the S&P 500, one of the biggest, um, yeah, kind of the biggest uh, index in the US, uh, 500 best US companies and always a nice uh, trigger or a nice index to compare to the overall market um, or it, it, it is reference as to the market. However, so you see, you can see here clearly that there's differences. So what are really bad companies that are currently, you know, even uh, didn't recover so far, uh, more or less, were European banks, energy sectors. Um, then you had uh, Russell 2000, a little bit lower. Then you have uh, top 10 large growth companies, retail favorites. Then you have FANG companies and stay-at-home companies. And Bitcoin obviously were the winners of the most uh, returning asset classes by sector and industry. So you can see it's not always... Um, you know, really, really bad for everyone, okay? This is the important part, guys. Then, uh, make sure to, sec uh, to, to subscribe to my second channel. We are close to 1,000 subscribers. I put there a video today out for the overall uh, test flight yesterday by Virgin Galactic for those who are interested. And there is some light at the tunnel, guys. There is some light at the tunnel. What does it mean? I think that, uh, you know, there is some lot and lot of data that we can look at from a positive standpoint. Like, for example, the Eurozone economic rebound leaves output below the pre-pandemic levels, but still it's a rebound, okay? So you see it's going better. It's not like not like we got a hit, right? We got this hit and then we are tumbling down and down and down and we are KO. It's like we got the hit. Yes, we got the hit, but we are going back. We can work from home. We know what happened with the first thing. So it's, it's a kind of game against, you know, how far can we pull the string off the stock market and when it's going back up like, uh, yeah, like a very, very strong uh, rebound. Because remember, we always talked here, the worst days are usually followed by a really good days or weeks even, which then, you know, if you are not in the game, guys, then you are losing a lot and lot of steam that you might need for your overall situation, all right? So then we are having obviously also the Fed. You can always count on the Fed, guys, okay? The Fed obviously is our friend, never bet against the Fed. The Fed has so many monetary tools that they can just throw in and they just announced today that they lower the bar for access to small business lending program, which means that they can issue you know, more money to small businesses to help them to overcome the next situation, which is fantastic, right? I mean, having the Fed always having your back and going into the market with this kind of break news is always fantastic. Now, um, ECB also hinted at more monetary stimulus, okay? So it's, uh, you know, it they can go all in, you know, they can go on. Yes, the money is not the solution to the problem, but it can help quite significantly over a period just until the business is picking up, which, you know, we see some signs of it already. Um, now, obviously, we should go into some, uh, yeah, smaller data or, or some smaller returns, but then, you know, we can come back very, very strong. And uh, I pretty much it. I think uh, more or less uh, make sure to follow me also on Instagram, Wolf of Dubai Denny. I'm posting there also very, very much stuff about my overall life and Dubai life and everything. So make sure to check out this uh, Instagram. Now let's have a look into the comments, guys. I would love to see your comments. Let me just uh, make sure I can... Uh, 
show it to you as well. And guys, if you're not subscribed yet, I am posting so much content on different topics out there. And I would love to see you subscribing for good uh, on my channel. And obviously, you know, I'm uh, super much um, excited for the outcome of... Uh, yeah, ECB, enjoy your correction, baby. <laughs> La Caprica is uh, doing here some uh, very interesting, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, you know, spelling of uh, some keywords. Okay, first of all, I want to uh, also welcome all my members TO33X, uh, Ronnie Freyer from L uh, Los Angeles, uh, Las Vegas. Uh, we have um, whom I saw as well here, our regulars. I think uh, Gabriel, thank you very much for tuning in. What are those questions? Let me have a look. Um, Danny makes my mind always at peace. Yeah, I hope so, guys, because, you know, this is the only way to really um, capture this by thinking long term. I think you want to, to be, you know, in the game not for a week or two. You want to be for a long game. And that's why it's important to think also that way. Right. You cannot uh, you cannot um, think short term, but expecting the long term, uh, you know, earnings right or, or or returns from stocks um do you think space will dip to 16 on earnings day i don't know i have no idea i'm just buying every month so i don't care even you know so i'm happy with it going uh, down and i'm happy with it going up so uh, very very interesting thinking if you're thinking this way then we have people from long island uh, mississippi budapest italy mexico uh, slovenia we have romania we have uh, who else is in the building? Saudi Arabia even. So uh, thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, what else do we have? Um, okay, so La Caprica is saying, guys, both Nasdaq and S&P 500 goes down right now. Remember, if last hour of trading day is down, then next Monday will be super red. Well, this is not said, obviously, you know, um, just taking it by statistic, actually, Nasdaq had its best days on on on, uh, on Monday. So Mondays are pretty good for Nasdaq. And uh, if the situation doesn't, you know, go even stronger into the wrong direction, then I think uh, a great rebound could be possible as well. Now, let me have a look. What else do we have? Which stock I am buying? Well, I'm buying always, uh, I like to buy Virgin Galactic and uh, some Tesla calls. If you want to know about that more, I'm posting obviously all the trades uh, or at least the ideas or if I have something new that I want to share with my member uh, members here on this channel. Um, what else do we have? Yeah, just relax. Rona's doing their job. Yeah. Yeah, and unfortunately, you know, we were uh, not really... Um, I think, you know, it's it's a very, very hard situation for all of us because it's like an enemy that we that didn't expect it at all, right? We don't have so much experience into that and it brings a lot of uncertainty into the market. And this is always the, the thing that brings the stock market down. And once the uncertainty is gone, okay, let's say the cases goes a little bit lower. Let's say we are having now a, a new or the old president. If you're seeing economic data coming back strong. So then I think, you know, we can have still the end of year rally. Now, um, yeah, I uh, I really thank uh, you all. Make sure to, to thumb up before you leave, guys. Make sure to absolutely smash that like button. And if you're new here, the subscribe button as well, it's here. So thank you very much for watching and have a fantastic rest of the day. Stay healthy and safe and most importantly, happy Halloween.